Hi, welcome to Solid Edge 2020 video tutorial. It's one of my basic exercises which I do in all my trainings. It was missing from my YouTube channel, so I thought it's a good idea to do it and record it. So let's have fun with Solid Edge. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the front plane. And that sketch might look something like this. Add some dimensions. This should be 60. This should be 25. And this should be 30. That distance 30, and that one here 20. Let's add one last constraint like this. Close that sketch, finish, cancel this out, and let's do a revolve. That would be the profile. This would be the axis. And I want to go for 360 degrees. Finish, cancel this out. Next sketch, again on the front plane. And this one should look something like that. Again, add some dimensions. This should be 60. That distance should be 20. And this one should be 15. And that distance 15 as well. Add one last constraint or relation so this, sorry, this point should be aligned with that one coincident. Close this sketch, finish, cancel this out, and let's do a revolved cut. This would be the sketch. That would be the axis. And again, I want to have 360 degrees. Finish, cancel this out. Let's hide those sketches. Now, third sketch again on front plane. This will be just a rectangle. Like that. Add dimensions. This should be 15. That should be 30. This distance to that point here should be 60. And of course, I want to align this point here with that point. Close that sketch. Finish cancel this out and let's do another revolved cut with that sketch that's the axis and I want it to be symmetric and I want to go for 90 degrees finish cancel this out now I cannot use that sketch to do the same revolved cut on the other side, so I will go for a mirror. So let's mirror that last cut. Confirm. This would be the mirror plane. Finish. And I've got it on the other side. So if I now 
would suppress this cutout, I should get an error message as in all the other parasolid based programs so suppress that gives me an error here yeah so let's undo this and it will work again now i need an extrusion therefore i need a sketch on the top plane another rectangle and dimension should be 8 here and 18 in that direction let's use that midpoint constraint if possible or coincidence from this midpoint here Let's try it over here. This point should be aligned with that point. Close that sketch. And let's make a cut. Finish, cancel this out. Go for a cut with that sketch here. And it should go through all. Yeah, that's okay. Finish cancel this out maybe hide the planes let's go for the chamfers so should be here yes chamfer you need to select a face you could go for this face or I could go for this face that face and this one confirm now for the edges two millimeter 45 degrees that's okay click 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 and confirm finish cancel this out now what's missing is the hole therefore i need a plane tangent to that surface therefore it would be useful to bring back those planes so let's go for a plane tangent tangent to this surface and the angle would be in this case 90 degrees in that direction now i can do a sketch here and i could use as reference a 3d sketch a point in a 3d sketch so why not go for a 3d sketch and i want to have a point and that point would be at let's take a look x would be zero y would be minus 25 and z would be 12 Yeah, so I've got this point here. Close that 3D sketch. And now do a sketch on the front plane or just go for a hole. Because I should be able to snap onto that 3D point. So let's go for a hole. I have to go for a sketch on a plane. And that plane would be plane 4, which... on this plane and let's snap onto that point works close that sketch and let's check the options it should be a simple one diameter should be eight millimeter and it should let's see through all through next that's okay and confirm finish cancel this out let's take a look looks good and i'm done
so I hope it was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook FM page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.